Well, what about, um, what do you think buyers are looking for when it comes to floors? Like, what kind of a girl are you? Are you a carpet? Are you an LVP? Are you, or are you a hardwood? I am traditional. I was just about to say something so dirty, but I'll just wait. I like a hardwood myself. I like a hardwood myself. <laughs> I like a hardwood. No, for real. Me too. I mean, I'm, I'm, we have redone our entire house and it's universally all hardwood. How many times can we say it? God, my husband would love this. I didn't say morning hardwood. I just said hardwood. <laughs> I like hardwood in the morning. <laughs> and I'm... I do too. My coffee. Yeah. Hardwoods at night, I'm like, ah. Um, I like sober. I have carpet in my bedroom. There's no hardwood. <laughs> okay, enough. Enough. It's so, so good, though. Seriously. Um, seriously serious. Let's get serious for one second. Um, no, that's not. Actually. Okay, well, so you have carpet in your bedroom. I have carpet in my bedroom. Um, I like it that way. I really do. Yeah. I like carpets in bedrooms and then everywhere else, hardwoods. So we have hardwoods throughout. Um, it's the original hardwood from 1942 that we've had refinished and where we added on, we had them match it. So that's easy. You can just get yeah. the same stain and then it looks like it's all always been there, like what I have here. But what the um, solution is... My husband says, I want to get out of bed in the morning and put my feet on something soft. Right. He doesn't want to step on a hard wood. Got it. So you get a big ass rug. Right. You get a big ass rug that goes right. It starts in front of your nightstand. Mm -hmm. And then it goes out from under the bed. And then you get a, if you can, by the way, this amazing sofa, $364. From Wayfair in the box. Does it look like that? No. no. I know, right? It looks like an old weathered. Yes, I love that. Thanks. A good try. That's a really good find. Yeah. I mean, you have to put it together. But um, anyway. What about LVP? Like, <laughs> do you ever have a buyer that says, I have to have hardwoods, no carpet anywhere. I don't want to. Like, let's talk about, like, the benefit. Yes. I, I've i heard that so many times. I mean, but here's the thing. I mean, people will say things like that, and then it really is more of just a feeling when they walk into a house, and that all goes out the window if totally is, it, you know, again, the intangibles, things that they see, and it, 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 it the gook. Or it might be um, the stairs. They never thought that they were going to see those stairs like that. Double staircases. But now they've seen it and they have to have it. Or, right. you know, an amazing closet, something like that. But you no, know, I do hear, you know, oh, we want all hardwoods everywhere. Um, I don't really hear people saying they necessarily want LVP. Usually it's, oh, this is LVP, but it still looks nice. That yeah. Kind of thing. Um, a trend I'm and really LVP is such the rage. I mean... mean it, it is. And it, I mean, anymore, it uh, it looks great. It used to, you know, in the, in its infancy, LVP for me was kind of, yeah, I was on the fence about it. But now I, I think it, it usually looks great. I think what I enjoy about LVP is that it's not the clickety clack click of the laminate stick, which is terrible. It's a cheap, horrible sound. Yes. And... That's the laminate, not the LVP. The LVP is good. It's durable. It sounds solid. And right. I like the grain in it. And I <laughs> like how much they have made it look like hardwoods. Because here's right. the deal. When I go into a home and they need new flooring, for instance, let's say I go in and the foyer is flagstone, which is beautiful. But right. then they have like all different, like then I have carpet in my on my right in the office and a different... Um, flooring on my left in the dining room and then we go into something else and it's like weird carpet and like cut out and all this and I'm like dude well, ha, hold on a second we're gonna add like a thousand square feet just by making the flooring universal because that flow is what's gonna make it feel so much bigger 
um, I will recommend LEP because we're not going back to hardwoods because it's so expensive to begin right. with hardwoods. Um, and then when you change the flooring, it adds so much property value. What do you think about that, Lauren Klein? Realtor Correct. extraordinaire? Yes. Um, I mean, I've seen it go, put it this way, both ways where there have been um, listings actually that I have lost that have gone on not to sell because it, I am very passionate about certain things. And you touched on mismatched floors. Whoa. And I, I lost a listing because I said, you know, we aren't going to be able to sell. And this was five or six years ago. Again, the market was different. But it's still important. You're still maybe in this market, you'll sell the house, but you'll leave money on the table. These people, um, they had mismatched floors. They had you. You walked in, and it was Brazilian cherry. And then I think prior to moving in, when they bought the house, there was tile, but they decided they didn't want tile on the kitchen. So instead of getting more of the Brazilian cherry, they went with a different type of hardwood, and it was all mismatched. Then you went into the office, and it was a, a whole nother finish it was kind of a disaster and uh i said no we we really can't we can't put the house on the market this way all people are going to do and all they're going to focus on when they walk in the door is what's going on with these floors yeah there's a whole house and, and Lauren, when that happens they're spending the seller's money already they're already spending the seller's money instead of putting in a higher offer if it were already finished exactly and done for them Exactly. And that's like what I was saying about that green shag carpet. Fine. You don't have the money to put in the green shag carpet, but you better fucking find it because they're going to just pass by the pictures when they see the green carpet and you've just lost so many buyers like that as opposed to stealing money or borrowing it from your neighbor or coming up with a deal with your stager and your contractor so that you can make it happen somehow. Because... It just, it has to be ready for them or they're going to be spending your money or they're just going to walk by the pictures in the first place yeah, and they're going to pass it by. I mean, you know, that house ended up sitting and it was, I think, you know, maybe after four price reductions. And the funny thing is, I was the one that saw the potential in that house. And after multiple price reductions, I called a friend of mine and, this, you know, again, just a reminder, this is a listing I lost. I called a friend of mine and I said, hey, if you can look past the floors, they just did another price reduction on this house. It was in my neighborhood. And I said, obviously, the neighborhood's great. I love it. You can get a great deal on this house. And I ended up bringing the buyer. Thank and God, I because you said it's just the floors, isn't it? I said, look, you, you're going to have to look past the floors. Just try to look past the floors. But this was after, I want to say, like $70,000 in price reductions. Unbelievable. And $70,000, I mean, if you think about replacing floors, which would go from $5,000 to $7,500. Right. That is so much more to lose. So right. what you're saying and what we can tell the pod posse who are on the edge of their leather $364 sofas waiting for this answer is flooring has so much to do with oh, selling a house. Absolutely. Absolutely. It starts from the foyer when you walk in. Um, it, just, it just has to have the flow. And um, yeah, it's really, really important. And if the realtor hadn't have called me in, to make something happen to replace this carpet. Not to mention it smells nice. And also, who wants to know when a house was built and know that the carpet dates back to then? Right. And bring their family in there. When you start playing that game of, okay, this is clearly original and this is when the house was built. So you're looking at, you know, 50 year old carpet. Eek. Oh my God. No. Mm -hmm.